Hey, it's Adam with the Productivity Academy, and this is going to be a pretty short video, but I want to talk to you about a tool I just came across a couple of days ago. I'm really excited to see what the results are, uh, but also in hopefully a few weeks, maybe a couple months to do a little bit more in depth, and I'll show you why that's important. But uh, real quick, this is exist.io. Uh, you can find the link below if you're interested in checking it out. I've been doing a lot of search around trying to uh, bring together a lot of metrics. You know, I keep track of things like, hey, I'm working out. Um, you know, in general, like uh, with the best self journal, how are my days going? What am I working on? What can I improve on? And but I look around, I've got all this data, right? I've got a Garmin watch. I use it for running, but it measures my heart rate. I'm keeping track of when I'm going to the gym. And but there's all these other tools that are, you know, aggregating all this information for me. And I wanted to start taking that in because like last week when I was doing my quarterly review, a lot of it's manual, and I think some of that is good to kind of immerse yourself in that and go back through like journal entries, uh, really kind of, you know, get yourself refamiliarize yourself with, you know, what have you been doing over the past, in this case, 90 days? What went well, what didn't? But I also want to have quick access to this data and something that can look a little bit deeper than perhaps I can. Either I don't have the time or I don't see the correlations. And I did some looking around, and I don't know why I'd never come across exist.io before. But I came across it and immediately signed up. I saw what they were doing. I'm not going to read the page to you. You can go and check it out. Uh, but I will show you on my account real quick here. You can see all of the services that I've already connected. You can connect your calendar. You can connect Garmin, Google Fit, Todoist, Strava, Rescue Time, Facebook and Instagram. There's a bunch more too. Fitbit, Last.fm, uh, Pocket, Runkeeper, Toggle, Twitter, a bunch of stuff. And the more, uh, they, the more services you connect, Obviously, the more um, data that, that they can use to correlate and show you some of this stuff. So let me hop over. And for example, um, I'm still getting used to the layout, but just want to share this real quick so you can see like today, it says, okay, here's my activity so far. I've got 8,000 steps. Here's what my steps look like for uh, the last week. Productivity from rescue time. Um, it's showing where I'm spending my time. Um, and then this right here, the custom part, I really like and the mood. So what you can do is add custom tags and that will add into the correlations, which we'll get to in a minute. So for instance, maybe if you had, um, you know, on days you had coffee, you're seeing an increase in uh, heart rate uh, activity or your uh, average heart rate. Um, maybe your mood when you don't go for a walk or you're not tagged as going for exercise, your mood is worse. Things like that will start popping up, which is what I'm really excited uh, to see down the road. Now, this is good, too, with mood. I like this. It's kind of like a journal where you can just say, hey, you know, today went well. You can rate it one to five, but you can also put in um, text and, you know, what went well today, maybe what didn't. So you have a record of what's working and what's not. So, again, tons of information. I'm not going to go through all of that. Uh, but then over here on this other tab, you can go into trends. And right now it's a little funny because I've only got a few days of um, of data in here. So, you know, it says like, I spend more time active when I work out for a longer distance. That's true. Generally, when I run longer distances, it takes me longer time. Um, so right now, not a, a ton of data uh, there, but looking forward to seeing the strong correlations and seeing if that uncovers anything else. So like I said, just wanted to introduce this. I think this is a great tool for anyone like myself uh, who's using a lot of different services and, you know, you, you would like to get some more data out of that and you know that there's something there. Uh, but you want to maybe see what else you could do and start looking at these trends a little bit more easily. Um, to be upfront, I was using a Google form and I'm going to keep using it for a little bit uh, and filling out things like, you know, hey, how am I feeling today physically, mentally, am I feeling good? You know, do I feel like I'm on top of things? Um, you know, how did the last day go? And then taking that, the results from that, putting them into Google Data Studio and then embedding that chart into um, Notion where I have my daily review set up. So hopefully this is going to take over at least part of that. Uh, and they do have apps, which makes it really nice, both for Android uh, and uh, iPhones. So interesting stuff. Uh, if you want, you can find a link below if you want to check it out yourself. I believe it's a 30-day free trial, um, and then it's something like 6 bucks a month. So for me, um, this is a no-brainer and really looking forward to diving into this in a month or two and seeing what the trends and correlations and all that looks like.